So what must I watch? What am I taking here to number one? I must know that the Holy Ghost has made me an overseer. Every one of you must know that. Whether you're a campus coordinator or you're involved in raising disciples or you're involved in building believers, remember it's the Holy Ghost that has made you an overseer over one person, over two people, over three people, over ten people, over twenty, over fifty, over a hundred, over a thousand. It's the Holy Ghost that has made you an overseer. You must know that. I must take you to watch that. You know, it's like your pastor who chose you. The moment your pastor appoints you to a responsibility or your campus coordinator appoints you to a responsibility or the, the person that is disciplining you gives you an assignment, it is God giving you the assignment because God only walks through men. Simple. God walks through men. God walks through me. Ambassador Andrew, I'm just seeing something. The scope of your assignment is increasing as I'm speaking to you, right? The scope of your assignment is increasing. And all the abilities you need and all the abilities you require, they are released right now. 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 Lego Jakarta Kingle and Emota. Lebro the Zokola the Babra Gadengelina Mato Nonga Lord of Bojaki and Nahatana. And you will see clearly, you will see clearly all the things and all the way in which I will have you to walk in. You will see clearly and you will know it. You will not be confused. It's going to be bigger and larger than you ever imagined and dreamt up. And you have all it takes to fulfill it. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 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 Take heed to yourself and to the flock over the which the Holy Ghost has made you an overseer to feed the church of God which he purchased with his own blood. There are some of us, the way we act and treat the assignment given to us is like we're doing a, our pastor a favor. No. No. Some people just have a pattern of unfaithfulness and irresponsibility. And inconsistency. That's all. It will take it. Even though it was a man that laid hands on you, that is how God works. God will never come down and put his hand on your head. God has no hand. I am the hand of God. Today as I put my hand on you, that's the hand of God. The moment you feel my hand on your head, that's God's hand. And the hand will come with everything that you need for that assignment given to you. I'm not telling you amen at all. God walks through men. God has no other method. I mean, look at the house of Eli. Eli was in a backsliding state. Eli was in a backsliding state. Yet, it was Eli that told Samuel the voice of God. Because God, if God had other ways, he wouldn't have used Eli. Even the voice that spoke to Samuel was Eli's voice. Eli had, I mean Samuel had Eli's voice. He stood up and came. Sir, did you call me? He said, no, I didn't call you. He went back. He had the voice of Eli again. He came back the second time. Sir, did you call me? He said, okay, I know what he's calling you. The next time he calls you, tell him, master, because Eli knew that the way God walks is through men. Whether the voice or the hand. Am I talking to somebody? When you hear the hand of God, this is it. This is the hand of God. This hand has raised ministers who are shaking their world. This hand has raised ministers of the gospel from nothing to something. This same hand. It is going to rest on you today. Agatabayata. That great thing inside you will comfort. I'm not hearing that amen at all. I say it will comfort. Somebody shout the hand of the Lord upon my head to fulfill my purpose. Please sit down if you can. Brother Paul was the one that laid hands on them. And then he said the Holy Ghost made you. 
is Paul's hand. But the moment it came on the head, it became Holy Ghost's hand. In Acts chapter 13, separate me Paul and Barnabas for the assignment. When they had laid hands on them, they are being sent forth by the Holy Ghost. But it's men's hands. Why didn't God say, Paul and Barnabas, I am God Almighty. I have separated you for the assignment. God doesn't work like that. God said, men, 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 please help me. Separate. Men, help me. Because if you don't help me, I cannot do anything. Please, men, help me. Separate Paul and Barnabas. And the men stood up and laid hands. And when they laid hands and released them, the Bible records, they being sent forth by the Holy Ghost. God's method is men. Outside men, God can do nothing. If God is going to bless you, he will use men. If God is going to raise you up, he will use men. God's method is man. As I say, don't forget, don't neglect the hands that were laid on you with the prophecy that came forth. Don't forget it. When hands were laid on you, something happened inside. Stir it up. Shakada Baha. See, by the laying on of the hands of the elders, Borokotonia. Everything God does, He does through men. And men are not God. Yet God will use men. <laughs> men are not God. Yet God will use men. How do you think Jesus handed over the gospel to teenagers? The gospel, what he died for, he stood up and gave to teenagers. All the 12 disciples were teenagers. All of them. He handed it over to teenagers. Because God's method is men. Men that were despised by people. Brother Paul will say to Timothy, let no man despise your youth. Don't let anybody look down on you. Not after I lay hands on you. Let nobody look down on you. You carry something. Yeah. When hands are laid on you, something happens inside you. Say, I hear you. Say, not after hands are laid on you. Let no man despise your youth. But be thou an example of believers. Go out and be an example. Go out and shine the light. When hands are laid on you, you are released to go and make an impact in your world. All of us are products of men. Men taught us. Men ministered to us. Men laid hands on us. Men spoke over us. Men were used by God. I've not seen one man that God is using that is not a product of men. I'm yet to see. Any man that will say it's God that laid hands on me. Nobody knows God's word by himself. The very fact that the Bible we are reading today was written by men. The Bible you are reading in your hand was written by men. And now God put the gift in men. To teach us what men wrote by the Holy Ghost. Whatever God does, he does through men. You know, sometimes people get into associations where they make light of prophecies and lay none of hands. Take it to yourself. Take it to yourself. In 1 Samuel chapter 16 verse 13. 1 Samuel 16 verse number 13. Glory to God. First Samuel 16, 13. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brethren. When Samuel anointed him, the spirit of the Lord came upon David. From that day forward, why didn't the spirit come before Samuel anointed? It was after the anointing that the spirit came. In the New Testament, we don't anoint. The Holy Ghost in you is the anointing. But in the New Testament, we impart. The impartation is by the laying on of hands. Romans 1, 11, I long to see you. That I may impart some spiritual gifts unto you to the end. Put it up for me, Romans 1, 11, To the end, that you may be established. 
when hands are laid on you, spiritual purposes are established. Zatayana. When hands are laid on you, things that are lying dormant are stirred up. When hands are laid on you, things that are confusing you receive clarity. Shayadaba. 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 When hands are laid on you, suddenly what you were afraid of, you confront and overcome. The spirit of God came on him from that day forward. From that day forward. The ministry of the laying on of hands is a core apostolic practice. It's a core New Testament practice. The collator. Samuel poured oil on David. But the Bible says the spirit of God that came upon him. A man is doing it but it is God doing it. So if it's not man, it's not God. If it is not man, it's not God. Angels don't lay hands on people. It's man. Know that you are an overseer. The Holy Ghost has made you an overseer. 